Yes, we do have Gary Johnson. Gary Johnson, can you hear me? David Asman from New York. Gary Johnson, can you hear me? David Asman here. I can, David. Excellent to have you with <laughs> us tonight, Gary. Thank you for being here. Now, did, did, we, we suggested that you might have somewhat of a neutral perspective on, what's hap on what happened tonight. Uh, obviously, Democrats saying that the president held his own. Uh, Republicans saying it was a slam dunk for Romney. What say you? much to do about nothing. I mean, the country's in deep doo-doo. We've got to take some really, uh, we, we all have to take on mutual sacrifice if we're going to save ourselves from what I think is going to be a monetary collapse. So you got the two of them arguing over uh, lowering corporate tax rates. How about eliminating uh, corporate tax? How about eliminating income tax? How about abolishing the IRS, replacing all that with one federal consumption tax? In this case, I'm embracing the fair tax. I think that's the answer to tens of millions of American jobs. You got Romney talking about uh, tariffs on China. How about the whole notion of free market? You got both of them arguing over who's going to spend more money on Medicare when we ought to have a raging debate in this country over how we're going to cut Medicare because we're never going to balance the budget if we don't take on these really difficult issues. And Medicare is really the budget. Buster. But Gary, I would I would guess that other than that, you thought they were terrific. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking, Gary. Uh, I just want to explain to our viewers again, we're having a little difficulty with a satellite from Denver. As soon as we get Neil and the satellite back in condition, we will continue. But meanwhile, we've got a great guest here with Gary Johnson, the Libertarian candidate, if you hadn't already guessed. Uh, Gary, I, I appreciate a lot of what you're saying. In fact, I was kind of surprised, and I suspect a lot of Tea Partiers and other uh, Republican conservatives uh, might have been upset at the fact that uh, Mitt Romney did didn't express enough talk about just getting rid of a lot of the big government spending. In fact, he talked about keeping certain spending for programs like education in full speed, whereas a lot of conservative Republicans, not just the libertarians, but conservative Republicans might say, hey, look, why do we need a federal department of education in the first place? Well, let's just take the Federal Department of Education for, for starters. Uh, look, Federal Department of Education gives each state about 11 cents out of every state that every state spends. But it comes with 16 cents worth of strings attached. Federal government says you have to do A, B, C, and D. They give you 11 cents, but it costs you 16 cents right. to accomplish that. Look, Federal Department of Education, established in 1979 under Jimmy Carter. What has been value added about the Department of Education? And then they talked about college tuition tuitions tonight. Look, the reason that college tuitions are so high is because the government guarantees student loans. Right. If there were not government guaranteed student loans, I guarantee you tuition costs would be much, much, much lower because colleges and universities want to fill up their classrooms. And right now they are immune from pricing. Gary Johnson, it is great to see you again, my friend. He continues on. By the way, very quickly, we've got to throw back to Neil, but just tell us who you thought won. One or the other. Well, well, I did. Very you can quickly. see this. I've, I've been given very quickly. I, I win the debate. I'm not the third choice. I'm the only choice. <laughs> okay. I want to make a pledge to everybody. Uh, Waste your vote on the next president. But I suspected of the that that would be the answer. Gary Johnson, great to see you, my friend. Thank you very much from Chicago. Let's.